What's up guys, it's your girl Quinn B and I am back with another video. In today's video, I will be doing an unboxing slash product review of a new heat press that I just got from Heat Press Nation. I am very excited and cannot wait to show you guys. I have been MIA for a while, but I've been in school, so hopefully you guys understand. But I am back because I want to get better and I love creating content. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right into this video. Bam! <laughs> Let's get into it. So as some of you guys may know, I am a small business owner. Go ahead and check me out at blacklashbrand.com to see all the latest and greatest. I have crew necks, t-shirts, um, and I have a couple new things coming soon. I also have accessories. So just, you know, go ahead and check me out real quick. Thank you guys for your support in advance. Feel free to leave in the comments um, some things that I can I work on, some things that you would like to see in the spring, summer. You know, just let me know how I'm doing, you know, because I'm trying to be better. Check out my Warrior crew neck I got going on right here. It is in black and gold. I love it with a little bit of white to make it pop. <laughs> what? That's my game. That's still there. Ugh. All right. So let's go ahead and open this up. Alright, that's better. I am about to clean off this table, move everything, um, and sit my heat press here. I don't think that I should be putting my heat press on this fabric, so I'm just going to take the fabric off and we should be good. So I am done setting up my current workspace. I'm excited. I cannot wait. We're about to get into it right now. I have a couple of heat transfer papers uh, to use on my printer and then I have a couple of vinyls to test out on my Cricut machine and then we're going to send them right to the heat press here and hopefully everything turns out great because this is my first time using it. Okay guys, so I've made my designs. I'm ecstatic. We're about to get into it. I made the designs, I made some on my phone and then I made the other ones on my laptop here because I'm going to be using my Cricut for some of them and using my printer for the rest of them. For my printer, I have a couple different brands. I have Pen and Gear and I have Avery. Um, you need a inkjet printer to do this um, and then I have Light and Dark. Um, so I'm good for both of those. I've never done it. So we about to really test this out y'all. Hopefully it works um, because I am determined today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Oh, if you've stuck with me this far, thank you. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so you can get new alerts when I post new content. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I'm about to turn on the printer and we're about to print out these designs. I'm excited. So for my paper, I think I'm going to have to load it in the back. So I'll probably open that. Let's just... See which way we're going to have to load this. 
so I'm pretty sure this is like gonna make me print it through the back of the machine of the printer so this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna mark one side of the paper so that I know which way I put the paper in because with the heat transfer paper or the um, fabric transfer paper that I'm putting in the machine why do I keep saying machine and the printer the fabric transfer paper that I'm putting in the printer has a sticky side on the back and then there's like a certain side that the design prints out on. so the only way for me to tell is to put a mark on the paper clever clever so that's what we're gonna do and we're just gonna load it through the back here Hopefully this works. And I'm wondering if it's going to take the paper from the top. Okay, and it does. Alright, good. So it's printing right. So it's printing from the back. And I did mark the paper, so we'll see how this comes out in a second. I printed it in black and white just to see how this was going to print. So hopefully it's going to be right so we can print the real one. This is printing slow. Come on. So this is what I'm printing. It says honey. Yes, this is going to be so cute. I cannot wait. So, so this was the difference between on my printer settings. I chose um, printer making all kinds of noises. So on my printer settings, I chose use the paper that's in the printer that I put specifically, and I chose photo paper, and it didn't leave a border, which was great. But as you can see, this was clear than this. I don't think I'm going to like this in color. I feel like I might be a little worried about this. Hmm. We're just going to do this to be on the safe side. It did print on the side that I marked which is great so I know which way to put it in the um, transfer paper in. We're going to try this way. See what happens. Cool. So this comes with six blanks. I got this from Walmart um, for probably about eight to twelve dollars, which isn't bad. For use in inkjet printers only. We already discussed that. All right, we just we just about to do it. Put the dang on paper in there. So I put the paper in there. I put this side facing up. Let me see. So this is what the back of it looks like and then the front just looks like plain paper. On some paper that I've seen you can peel off the back. I don't know if that's a certain kind of like transfer paper. I'm assuming so. But this doesn't peel off the back. At least not like right now. So maybe like when I put it on press it'll peel off. I don't know I'm so worried. <sighs> Maybe I'll just read. I should, I should just read some instructions. Okay. These transfer sheets call for a temperature of 325 
to 375 and to press for 30 seconds. All right. Uh -huh. Okay. So there is like a backing on here. So there's no parchment paper that, with these. Apparently they peel and I have to cool. I have to let them cool for two to three minutes. All right. That's why it pays to read. All right. So we're about to do this. Hopefully this turns out right. If not, I'm be mad. Say no. <laughs> Fingers crossed, y'all. That's better word. I'm gonna cry. If you're going to use this paper, this transfer paper, <laughs> you have to load it the other way, apparently. Wow. That's crazy. So you have to load it this side facing up so the letters have to face you see any blue letters Yes, honey. This is cute. I can't wait. It's going on a tan shirt. And it better show up because it says light fabric and that's light. That's light, right? Yeah, we're going to be fine. That's going to be cute. Okay, that's that. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this baby on so I'm also going to print a design for my other shirt using my Cricut so we're just going to turn her on and sit you guys over here alright so all that I'm doing here is setting up my Cricut design so I have a design here put up on my laptop and I'm just going to mirror the image just using the normal Corvette, Corvette. normal settings so I'm going to use vinyl so I selected vinyl for my settings I have my fine point blade already in there and it's telling me I'm good to load and press the button so I'm excited hopefully this turns out right again because I'm a little worried because all all of this is new to me so hopefully I get it right so shiny side usually face down but I think with this shiny side is supposed to face up. So I'm going to just see if I can weed a little bit of it out first before I do anything. Corvette, Corvette. So right now I'm just... Yeah, so... It looks like the shiny side that would usually go, go down. I'm using puff um, vinyl. So the shiny side that would usually go down isn't going down this time. I wonder if I can put you guys like up. Let's see. Okay, so so this is a much better angle for you guys to see what I'm doing. I was saying that the vinyl that I'm using is puff vinyl. So usually the, the shiny side would face down this way. But 
I test it out with my weeding tool and the vinyl is on this side. So the plastic has to face the cutting board. So we're just gonna line this up here. And I'm not gonna cut away any of it. We're just gonna leave it on here. So we'll cut it all right. So we are just going to load this baby up. Make sure it's under the notches there. Load it in. Push start. This looks really nice. This up. And while I have this, mind you, this is not on. <laughs> but while I have this up, I'm just going to go ahead and cut two more colors if this turned out right. And because I can see. where this stops. I'm just gonna use the table as my guide. I did save a good chunk of this just in case I need that. I'm just going to weed this real quick. And that one, boom baby, I'm going to put this on my green sweatshirt. So that's that one. And here is this one. So there's not much of a difference, um, but there is a difference, a slight difference. Let's 
and there's an inch of a difference and I definitely think I like this one better so we're gonna go with this all right guys the moment we have all been waiting for I am finished with this so I can go ahead and cut that off I printed out all my designs and now it's time to turn the heat press on So this is, so these are the instructions from the Avery transfer papers. So it says that if I'm using a heat press, I can use 325 for 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and set it to that, 325. And then it's seven. Awesome. And then the temperature will increase here until it gets to my desired temperature, which is 325. So we'll just wait for that. And while we're waiting for that baby to warm up, should I probably open it? So while I'm waiting on that, let me go ahead and show you guys what I've been doing this whole time. <laughs> I'm exhausted. This is what it looks like so far. I love them. They're so pretty. Dope. Real dope. So I'm going to print those and then this one on black, a black shirt. And then I have a tan shirt for this one. So I'm going to print that on that. But yeah. Those are the designs. Came out of my inkjet printer. I am also going to do like a skeleton shirt. A skeleton tee. Um, has bones for the arms. And then that is the red black lash. Let's see. That is brown. That is also brown. Printed out so many, so many of these. That's gray. I put that on maroon. And this is white. So the white one will go there. And then our little skelly bones. Our little skelly bones are gonna go. Something like that. So this is gonna be dope also. Where are we at as far as temperature? Because your gear is tied. Right, 180. This probably is going to take about 15 to about 20 minutes to warm up. Alright guys, we are up to temperature. I am good to put my shirt on the press and move this out the way. I did fold the shirt in half and I want it just to find the center. I found the center. I'm just going to add a little bit of heat to it for a couple seconds. this one first so you have to try to get your finger underneath there peel this part 
And I noticed this was just for my dark transfer paper for light shirts. I don't have to do this. At least not this way first. Um, but you'll see the light one in a minute here. Where I put my ruler. I'm going to do three inches from the top here. So it's going to start right about here. right there make sure that falls right in the middle and that is about perfect perfect just going to scoot this down just a wee bit a wee bit further. Perfect. And then my heart sheet paper. And this came with my packet so I didn't have to order any. Just gonna lock that in for 30 seconds. And fingers crossed, hope for the best. Just for a couple seconds. This is fire, y'all. Oh, y'all, y'all ain't gonna tell me nothing. <laughs> y'all ain't about to be able to tell me nothing, okay? Alright, so this is the light transfer paper. Um, it says to leave this on for 30 seconds as well and then let it sit for two to three minutes and then peel the back off. So I'll put this shirt to the side. I'm gonna come out backwards, y'all. I hope it don't. We'll see. Fingers crossed on this one, y'all. Alright, we're just going to do this 
sit there for a minute. I'm gonna just go for it. <laughs> yes, 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 paying attention how to end up letting that go. I don't care, y'all look at this. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. And I hear it's really good to stretch the fabric a little bit to prevent cracking. So that's what I've been doing. Just giving a tug just a little bit. Get into these shirts, okay? Okay? I'll just go ahead and set this one up. It is about three inches. That was all. Just for a little bit. Now this is the puff vinyl so I'm excited to see how this turns out. I'm leaving it on for 30 seconds but I'm not sure how long I'm supposed to keep it on. Probably for about 20 seconds so let's just go ahead and pop this off. Oh my goodness. And already it started, ah, it started to rise y'all. Look at this. Look at this. I think you guys can see it like rising. Oh, this is tough. And this is the puff vinyl. Oh yeah, this is about to be my favorite. Look at this. Look at this. It's like raised. Can y'all see that? It's like a 3D, oh my gosh, it's like a 3D effect, not even effect, it's 3D, it's coming, it's coming off the fabric. Yo, this is dope. I'm so glad I did go up an inch, but y'all check this out, oh yes. <laughs> Look at that y'all, that is fire. Here's my green one. Tested this out. This is supposed to be like the caramel color, light brown. And it kind of looks like a grayish tan. Nevertheless, I'm gonna still wear it because it's cute. But 
around what that looks like. Perfect, and I just have to do the sleeves, and then we're done. Thank you. To shut her off. I'm just gonna let this cool just a little bit. Overall, this is probably like my favorite. <laughs> look at that, y'all! Look at this! Ah! I'm so excited! I'm so excited! Let me lay these out so you guys can see. So, you guys, here is the finished product. This will be on my website in about two weeks. All items will be on there in about two weeks. I cannot wait for you guys to see them online. If you guys enjoyed, Go ahead and leave a comment in the box below. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask. I am all ears. And go ahead and shop online at blacklashbrand.com. I am doing small business promos. So go ahead and email me and send items directly to my P.O. box. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. What a day guys, it has been a long day, but it was well worth it in the end. If you guys enjoyed the content today, please do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Leave a couple comments in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know what you think I could do better on if you have any tips. Like I said, this is my first time trying out all this and it turned out good. <laughs> Except for that one shirt that was giving me a hard time. But it is what it is. I really enjoyed it. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. Do not forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can get new alerts when I post new content. And in today's small business feature, I will be highlighting a small business owner that is very dear to me. And she is amazing. Her name is Radiance Organic Skincare. Okay, follow her on Instagram and Facebook. 
DM her um, to place any of your orders. Right now, I am wearing the... <laughs> I'm wearing it like a, I'm wearing a shirt. Right now, I am... I feel like I'm baking in the oatmeal uh, mask. It feels amazing on my skin. The oatmeal honey mask. It's supposed to be left on for about 10 minutes. Um, coming up on 10 minutes, about 5 minutes. Um, I feel like my skin is starting to crack. <laughs> but it feels amazing. It rejuvenates my skin, especially during these times. I feel like I really, really need to start taking care of my skin. I have like really sensitive skin. And I try to do these masks at least every other night so that I can have my mask acne under control. Um, with wearing these masks, I've been seeing that I've been having a lot of breakouts. So this has help, been helping me um, keep my skin under control. She also sells hand sanitizer. So on top of her making handmade, homemade face, uh, face masks, she has hand sanitizer so go ahead and check her out she has lots of things um, that I'm sure you guys will be interested in her name again is Radiance Organic Skincare. go ahead and check her out mm -hmm. shout out to you and after I wash my mask off I love to put on her because she also makes body butters face butters she makes her own lotion guys like not like a lotion but it's like a butter so after I do my my masks I do love to put this on just a little bit on my hand is all I need it is perfect and because I again I have sensitive skin it doesn't break me out it doesn't irritate me and it smells amazing all natural 100% organic you can't, it doesn't get any better than this. You can't beat it. So go ahead and check her out for me, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Until next time, bye!